What's going on YouTube? Welcome to our fourth vlog here at World of Reef. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jed. Uh, Eric is our manager here. You'll see him later on in the video. Uh, this is our fourth vlog here. We are a small local fish store, saltwater only, in Longwood, Florida. Uh, we're starting a day-to-day -day vlog. It's going to be once a week on Tuesdays. We're going to do Tank Tuesdays. We'll kind of give you the weekly update, weekly vlog. You'll see what different stuff we get in and shipments, just kind of what goes on here on the day-to-day -day basis. Then on Fridays is going to be our Frag Friday. We'll be highlighting our WYSIWYGs of the week. Uh, you'll see little frags that we have in our display tanks. Here. Sorry for the blue light. It's an aquarium store. It's kind of hard to cut out the blue, so sometimes I'm just going to look like Violet from, you know, Willy Wonka. Um, but anyways, so you'll see those frags and you can actually go get those on the website, the WYSIWYG of the Week section on the website so you get those exact frags from the video. Uh, so this week's vlog, it's kind of a mixed bag of things. Uh, we're starting to set up our quarantine system in the back. Our fish system, as I've said several times, is run like a quarantine system. But why not have an actual quarantine system so that way we can truly guarantee that we've had these fish for at least a month. Like they'll be in the back, we'll have two separate systems going, completely isolated from each other. So once they're here for a month, they are fully quarantined. And when we put them out here, they'll be ready and good to go. Uh, so we'll see that. We're gonna do some fragging of Euphilia, uh, testing out our new tank. Uh, just a whole, just kind of a menagerie of things as, as they say. Uh, so stay tuned. If you're kind of interested in what's gonna go on on the day-to-day -day basis here, hit that subscribe button, get post notifications on. You subscribe, you get 10% off in our store on all your livestock, fish, inverts, corals, you name it. If it's alive, 10% off on the store if you hit subscribe. So uh, enjoy the video. All right, you wanna walk me through what you're doing right now? Well, we're just cutting this. I'm not sure if this is the design I'm actually gonna use. I might use it, I might not. For the drain, for this system. <clears throat> I might not do it that way. I might just cut it off right here and put this uh, low profile strainer right there. But I'm trying to give it a chance. I think it'll do better this way less chance of stuff on the top, but it's not surface skimming like I'd want it to, so we'll play with it and figure it out. around here this level that might could work at least I get some surface skimming going on yeah. I may change the bulkhead out So we're going to do a little fragging here. Um, it's not going to be Zoas or any Montes like that. We're going to be fragging up uh, two of our hammer colonies. They're both neon green hammers. One of them is like a neon splatter. Uh, it's actually a bi-color colony. It has like purple hammer on it as well. There's like two heads of it. We had more, but we've cut them off since then. Uh, the other one is just a neon hammer. So uh, we're going to frag it up. Just going to be probably using some bone cutters to chop it up a little bit. And then we're going to run it through the saw to get a nice flat, even bottom so we can put it to a disc. So I'll show you how I do that. So just got some bone cutters. I'm just gonna go in here. And just like that. Put it in. Turn it around it a little bit. And we'll probably 
probably do this one over here as well. Dropped off. Put that in the bin. So now we're going to put this guy back in the farm and let him grow a little bit. I'm going to take these heads and run them through the saw because it's a lot easier to get in between those heads with the saw. It's more precise. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that real quick. As you can see, I really took my time going in between the heads because you don't want to get any of the tissue. Uh, so now that they're separated, we're just going to flatten the bottom so it's easier to glue to the plugs. As you can see, nice, flat, even bottom, make it easy to glue. Now the easy part. This one out a little more. Flatten that one out a little more. So we got the glue already on. Just a matter of kind of a balancing act, but they're pretty flat on the bottom. So there was one that was really bad. That's tough. Yeah. It was like very close to the tissue on it. Yeah. Sometimes you want you, it helps if you take them. A lot of these guys, what I'll do is when I pull them out of the water, the bottom's wet, so I'll take it on a paper towel, dry that a little, and it helps it to adhere faster. Yeah, when you get down to this area, is where you kinda, you wanna try to avoid cutting in there, that's tissue. This is fine. They can be left out of the water for a little bit. It's not gonna kill them to stay out for a couple minutes or so. All right, so once we get all these guys unplugged, I'm gonna frag up the other hammer as well, and I'll show you guys once everything's back in the tanks. So you can see all the hammers are now chopped up in there um i have the orange filter on right now because without the orange filter this is what it would look like so you can see the colors of the hammers a lot better with the filter on yeah so each one's i think there's one that's not an individual head uh, but all the other ones are single head hammers so a lot of our job during the week is cutting up and fragging a bunch of different stuff so we can get those varied prices and varied sizes of different frags. Like uh, yesterday, I didn't show this, but I fragged up a bunch of our Montes. So pretty much all of these are now frags and Montes. They were all about these size colonies. So now we have halves, quarters. This is just a bunch of little pieces of Montes. That way we can give you guys the most varied price range and um, size for your frag. So that way, cause like a lot of times it's more attractive when you see a frag that's, you know, 25 bucks versus, you know, spending 60 bucks. Cause you know, it's a lot less investment. So if something does go wrong, you're not losing as much money. So to the consumer, that's a lot more appealing. Uh, so that's why we try to give you guys the varied ranges of sizes and prices. Another part of our day-to-day -day, uh, job here He's taking some photos. Um, so as the person who's responsible for the fish section, you know, that's, that's where I'm gonna focus taking my photos on. Um, so I'm kind of going fish by fish of what we have in stock and put it to our website. So that way we don't use like stock photos from other places, you know, we really have what we have. Like we have our own signature brand. So we can put labels onto our photos, you know, and they will be our photos. So just going fish by fish, you know, 
kind of getting our stock photos. So, like, I don't have to take a fish of like our photo of every single fish that we have. But you know, like the WYSIWYG fish that we have, like obviously the Gem Tang, the Annularis Angel, uh, the Ventrilus Anthias, uh, Clown Trigger. So the fish like those will be in the WYSIWYG fish section. Um, and then once we sell those ones, we'll just use that photo as our stock photo. Um, and then just, we'll take it out of the WYSIWYG section. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of go through fish by fish, taking some photos. I'll kind of take you guys through how I do like the filters on like editing. It's not really editing, it's just kind of putting our logo onto the photos. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try to document because it's kind of it's kind of hard to take photos and a video of me taking photos. It's kind of like Inception, uh, but it's kind of hard to do that. Um, but I'll try to do my best. So doing this with one hand is gonna be extremely hard. We also have a very small lens. Okay, so doing that is actually insanely impossible uh, by myself. So I'm just gonna try to take some photos and I'll show you guys once I finish taking the photos. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys how I go through this process. Um, so I've done a couple of these so far. Uh, the one I'm on is the gold room tank. So I'm gonna go open that in Photoshop. Look at that photo. What a fantastic photo by myself, not to pat my own back or to my own horn, but it's a great photo. So then I'm gonna come up here. We have our little like filters, little layers. So I'm gonna drag logo, it's gonna be massive. And we'll shrink it down. And I'll put it up here. And I'll grab the other one. I'll shrink it down. And that's that. There it is. File. Save as. We come up gold rim tang. Gonna make it a JPEG. So then all these are gonna come up. Gonna go to the fish. Uh, all the other ones. Save. And that's that. We're gonna do one more just real quick. Gonna hit new. Create. Open. Go to fish unedited. Green chromis. Another great photo. I'm gonna repeat the process. Take the logo. We put it in the bottom corner this time. Grab the logo. Drag it in. File, save as, JPEG, fish, save. So pretty basic stuff, nothing too difficult for, you know, putting our logo on. It's just when you got hundreds of different types of fish and species of coral and it, it's a lot of tedious work. It takes a lot. It's a lot of the same steps over and over and over again. Um, but someone's got to do it. So that's pretty much what I would do today. Um, I'll show you guys once I have um, up onto the website. So as you can see, right now on our website, it's kind of a mixture. Some of these are photos I've taken. Some of these are stock photos. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. But let's see. Let's go down the tang section. See, these are all photos that I've taken. Um, I'm still figuring out on the website how to get different sizes for the same fish. So you can see like I have a naso small and a naso medium and they're just different, you know, descriptions, but it's the same photo. Same with the large here. Uh, so I'm still figuring that out. But you can see these are all photos I've taken. And besides the uh, the cover photos, if you go into the actual sections, it'll only be photos that we've taken. Uh, that was taken with an iPhone, so I'm gonna redo that one. Um, clownfish, again, all our own photos. So eventually, um, all the photos on our website will be our own photos. It's just we wanted a website up first um, and we would worry about photos later as we build our stock. So basically, once we get something new in, I'll take a photo of it, and that'll be our new stock photo. Um, 
and I'll just keep it in a file whenever we have it. I'll just I'll upload it and enable it, or if we don't have it, I'll just disable it and worry about it at a later date, um, and just keep it kind of in the back of the website. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I go about putting photos to the website. So I'm at our new display tank that I set up. Uh, I think it was either last video or the video before that. Uh, it's been cycling for about two and a half, three weeks now. Uh, so I kind of want to check to see where we're at with ammonia because it, it should be soon. Uh, so basically, you can take a pipette, get some water, and pipette into the API. Try to do this without hands. So then I'm going to fill it up to the five milliliter part. Then once I've got the five milliliters, I'm gonna take ammonia API bottle one. Gonna add eight drops. Then eight drops of bottle two. Then we shake it up. So I'm gonna give it about two minutes. Um, see where it see where it comes out on here. So I don't think it's gonna be that low. I think it'll be lower than when we started. But I, if I remember correctly, I think Eric actually added more ammonia after we first started cycling it. Like I, I forget the last time Eric actually added ammonia. So I could be either it could either be very low or it could be just kind of where we started. Um, I'm not really sure, but let you know. Let's let's find out, I guess. So uh, while that's going, I'm gonna do nitrite. With the nitrite test, it's it's just five drops again, five milliliters of water. And we shake it up. So I'm gonna let that one sit for about two minutes. Let's, uh, let's check on the ammonia. Well, it's actually a lot higher than I thought. Um, clearly not zero. Uh, I'd say it's it's in that 25, 0.25 range. It might be even more than that. Um, but yeah, so definitely got some ways to go on the tank still. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's vlog. Sorry that was a really, really long vlog. Uh, went a little over, but just a lot of different little things happened this week. Uh, so remember, comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be busy. It's Tuesday. So on Tuesdays, we get our invert shipment. So I'm going to be unloading those. Um, but yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, post notifications on, and we'll see you next time. See you.